Expedite, the pre-workout is designed to really help you get through those moments where you feel a little fatigued. Sometimes your body does get a little tired, you know, it gets a little sore. But this kind of stuff picks you right back up. In that fight, when you got the cut, man, how worried were you that the ref was going to come in and stop the fight? I, I, um, I was pretty worried, dude, because right away when I hit it, boom, I knew, like, when he came in with his head and we clashed heads, I knew right away that it was fucking bad because I seen, like, a whole bunch of blood just dripping down, like, the whole bunch of it. So I was like, oh, fuck. But with me, like, it's, it's always – um. My, my, my mentality is like I want to just make sure that I'm sticking to the vision so what I did is I knew that I had a cut but I hardly ever looked in the mirror or anything like that or in the in the in the screen where they're showing the fight or they're showing the replay because I don't want to freak myself out so when I when I sat down and I told uh, my coaches well, like how bad with the cut was they like played it off and they're like oh it's not that bad it's not that bad you're good you're good to go but I, in in the back of my mind I knew that it was pretty bad so Right when I got up, I knew it was I, I, I was I knew it was bad, but right when I got up and then when the referee said uh, said, Okay, let me let the doctor see, that's when I knew I was like, Oh fuck, it is pretty bad. So once the doctor like was uh, like seen it and analyzing it, he was like, uh, what do you like do you wanna fight? So I was like, Hell yeah. He's like, Can you see? I was like, Yeah, I can see, like put me back in. So then he's like, all right, keep going. So then the right 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 after then, I kind of I, I wasn't worried that he was gonna stop the fight because I wasn't showing, like, I, I didn't want to fight anymore. I wasn't showing any, like, fear or any type of, you know, um, <clears throat> like, feeling or, like, expression to him where I wanted the fight to be stopped. I was taking full dominance. I was taking full dominance of the fight. I was being very dominant through right from the right from the first round. So there was no need for the referee or anything to stop the fight. I think if Tim Farmer would have landed another good, good shot on it, then the referee probably could have stepped in and stopped it. But... I was being more cautious, uh, cautious and aware of, of it. I was still being active and still being, you know, aggressive, but I wasn't being as forceful with my shots. I wasn't landing any – I was still, like, throwing stiff shots and stiff hard shots, but I wasn't going all out because I, I was still aware and I didn't want to, you know, go all out and then him counter me and catch me with a clean shot and, and open up my eye uh, more, than, more than it already was. So – I don't know, man. I just feel like everything played out well. I had a, I had a good game plan. I stuck to the vision. Uh, I didn't let the cut distract me at all. I had a goal in mind, and that was to uh, to be champion and to prove a lot of doubters wrong, and that's what I did. How bad did it hurt? Fucking after the fight, fuck, man, it was painful. Yeah. The shots, the shots after the fight. Oh my god, dude. They gave me, they gave me how many shots, man? They gave me three shots or two shots, baby. How many shots did they give me after the fight? Two or three shots. They gave me three shots. They gave me uh, two shots in the inside the actual cut, and then they gave me a shot outside. And overall, I got 15 stitches. But the healing is is looking really, really good, man. The the cut's not as bad anymore. You can still see it, but I mean, it's they did a really, really good job, and I'm just very thankful of it. And I already went to my doctors and stuff, and they said it's not gonna open up again. Um, I could start training camp in actually May, so I was gonna I was gonna start camp in May, but I might start camp uh, like mid May now. How many stitches did you have to get for it? Fifteen. Fifteen stitches. Fifteen Damn. stitches. Oh, yeah, they gave me um, nine uh, nine nine on the inside and six on the outside. Jeez. Or six on the inside and nine on the outside, something like that. When the fight finished and you finally got to like get a look at it, like what you what you think? Oh damn! I was like, God, fucking! Damn. I was like, man, what the fuck? Like, I like, <clears throat> I've always knew that, and I knew that with boxing, like, of course you're gonna get cuts and stuff, but I never seen a cut that fucking bad. Like, my the cut looked like it was like there was a like a it, on the inside there was another cut forming in it. It was like fucking crazy, dude, and it was like just flopping. I just <laughs> I don't I don't even know how to describe it, man. It was a Bro, it looked like a horror man. movie, dude. It, looked, it was, dude. It you, was. You ever, uh, there's this old movie character called The Toxic Avenger. Uh-huh. Have you ever heard of him? 
You might yeah. not know. I'm a little older than you, but if you ever get a chance, look up the Toxic Avenger because he has an eye that kind of bulges the way the cut did, and that's yeah. what it reminded me of, dude. It reminded me of. It, it was bad, dude. It was a bad. Dude, that cut. shit was that shit was like one of the worst cuts I've seen in in, in boxing, man. That shit was just crazy, and, and the the crazy thing about it was like I. It, my my shit wasn't bleeding like it was opened up so much but it, there was no blood pouring out I, my my cut man ben Dera, he did a fucking tremendous job you know uh making sure that there was no uh blood coming out or dripping down and he did a really really good job uh saving me yeah. from that fight too man because no, he did because usually a cut like that they'll stop the that, fight I, yeah they would yeah. stop it yeah like, right away if it would have if that fight would have been in new york the fight would have been stopped yeah 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 yeah, I know, man. It's fuck, dude. And then if that was the case, man, see, that's why I'm just, like, very happy that everything just <clears throat> went as planned and went in, in my favor that night. Uh, the, the doctor seen that it wasn't – I mean, it was a bad cut, but I could still fight and I could still see, so he let me continue. And I was <clears> – <throat> I had a good cut, man, Ben Lira, freaking every single round, making sure that my eye was okay. And just me realizing that I was still – in the in a championship fight, and I still had to take it to him, but still avoiding shots from getting hit from there. I mean, <clears throat> I just feel like everything just went as planned, man. And I'm just I'm just very very thankful, and I'm just happy that uh, my my vision finally came true, and that I'm world champion. Now. How long did it take in total for it to heal up to to the point where it is now? Um, it took me about yeah, like about yeah, like about two months. Two months. Mm -hmm. Two months, man. When did it stop yeah. finally bothering you? It stopped finally bothering me when I got back from Hawaii. And that was like, I would say like a month ago. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, it was because it was still hurting, man. And like, there was still, the crazy thing is there was still stitches because the fucking doctor in Miami saying that said that he got dissolving stitches. So the stitches were supposed to be dissolved. But I, like, it was already, he said that they're going to go away like in two, three weeks. But it was already like the sixth week and my stitches are still there. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, dude, they're not dissolving. So I ended up going to an actual uh, doctor and they said, nah, like they're not remove, they're not uh, dissolving stitches. I got to remove them. So they ended up removing them. And I, I had a little tiny infection. So I had to take pills and antibiotics. And I ended up taking those for a week. And yeah, the healing process is fine now, man. So I'm, I'm just thankful. That's good, man. That's good. That's always um, a scary thing for a fighter, you know, especially when a cut like that happens and, and it gets really, um, the scar tissue gets really bad and then you just start getting cuts over and over and over again in, in, uh, in fights and, and all that. Yeah, exactly. I know. And I'm, uh, and <clears throat> I'm thankful because they did, uh, they, did, they did inside stitching as well. So I'm not going to be getting cut open as much either. If someone lands a, like a direct shot on me, it's not going to be, you know, um, any type of, it's not gonna have. It's not. It's if someone hits right there, it's not gonna open up like how people think it's gonna open up. If it just has to be like a really direct contract or a headbutt again, then it'll open up. But if I can get hit by regular punches, then it won't open up again. So I'm just, I'm thankful for that, man, because I don't want to go in, into uh, fights always getting opened up, man. It sucks, bro. Fighting with like cuts on your eyes and stuff like that because. That's another thing that you got to think about when you're when you're actually inside there and during that night of the fight, and it sucks for fighters like Francisco Vargas and like Gabe Rosado, man. Those guys always have fucking cuts because their their cuts never healed up. They never healed up properly, man. And man, I'm just that's why I'm saying I'm thankful that the cut it was a really really dramatic cut, but the healing process of it and how it healed up, I'm just I'm just very happy with the results because it looks like it looks brand new again. Yo, you, yes, you, thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.